Brian Tarbert with TCS and today we're going to look at an overview of the Ubiquiti BACnet Manager which we use to discover, tag, and map any BACnet device including our own BACnet control such as the Ubiquistat. So we start with a very familiar uh, site home page. Uh, everything is grouped into different categories such as HVAC and lighting and you can scroll over any icon to see additional monitor data. Then clicking on that icon will open up uh, to the full monitoring page. Um, now, the monitoring page is a little different. It can be custom grouped uh, and custom organized by the BACnet admin uh, using the Ubiquiti BACnet Manager. Each point is assigned to a group and then a position within that group. So, for example, all the temperature inputs are grouped together, active set points grouped together, digital inputs and outputs, and so on. And you can also see a seven-day trend of all the data within each of those groups by clicking on the trend button. The status of the monitor data is, da is uh, color coded with green indicating the data is recent and scrolling over the icon will give you a timestamp of the last data update. Now uh, when you click on the programming button uh, you'll go to a single programming page very similar to the standard Ubiquiti in interface. Um, all the points that are assigned to be programmed are available on this one page. But like the monitoring screen, each program point can be assigned to a group and then a position within that group. So here, uh, they've been grouped into a group called Systems and Set Points with all the set points and corresponding programming such as set point adjust limits, smart, smart recovery, uh, outdoor air lockout, uh, then the digital outputs, analog outputs, and other functions are grouped as well. Uh, you can make a change uh, for example, changing the unoccupied cooling set point to 80 degrees and then just trigger a write to that group or you can write to the entire programming page uh, if you've made multiple changes. Uh, scrolling over the uh, status icon will show you the timestamp of the last date uh, the point was read and written to. So, all this gets uh, discovered, tagged, and mapped uh, using the Ubiquiti BACnet Manager and to access the BACnet Manager you just click on the icon from the site home page. Now if you don't have an icon that means you don't have proper admin access to get to the BACnet Manager. Um, now when you do that this will load a navigation tree. Now those of you who are familiar with other BACnet software like maybe Chipkin or Niagara may be familiar with this type of navigation. Uh, going to the BACnet Manager also triggers the fast mode so the next time the QD3040 Edge device connects to Ubiquiti on its normal one minute polling cycle, being on the BACnet Manager will trigger uh, automatically uh, and hold the connection while the BACnet Manager is being used. So the, that speeds up the reads and writes uh, while you're using the BACnet Manager and any operations within the BACnet Manager. Uh, the, tree, the tree also uh, shows three BACnet devices. As you can see, there's two TCS Ubiquistats and one Viconic stat uh, on this network. Uh, you'll also see status information on the actual site itself, uh, the connection uh, to the Ubiquiti Cloud, the QD3040 Edge device, and each device that's connected to one of the Edge device's ports. Uh, now clicking on the device icon will open up uh, so you can access several tabs. The status tab shows static information such as model number, serial number, firmware version, and so on. Uh, the monitor and trend tab and then the program tab shows how we uh, built those previous uh, screens we looked at. This is where they're um, built and, and uh, shows what they, to the BACnet manager how those are going to look when they're presented throughout, throughout Ubiquiti. Uh, now the real work is done uh, in the Discovery and Mapping tool uh, tab. Uh, so I'll click on that and there are three sections on this page. Uh, the Discovery section shows the last BACnet discovery that was done and includes all properties and objects for this device. The Staging map is where discovered objects are dragged and dropped to so they can be properly tagged and that tagging is used to set up a point to be read, written, uh, monitored, trended, or available for programming. And the active map is where points that have been staged uh, have been dragged and dropped so you can actively program and monitor and trend in Ubiquiti. Uh, so this uh, US4010 device that we'll be looking at, it's already been set up, uh, but we'll use this for demonstration purposes. 
And you'll also notice that each of these three sections uh, has its own search field as well, which can be very helpful. Um, in the discovery section, the new discovery of the BagNet objects and properties can be triggered by clicking on the Discover button. And this will show the progress of discovery, including how many total objects are on the device as they're being discovered, and the progress as they're pushed to the BACnet manager. Now, since we already have a discovery file in place from a previous discovery, and you can see where that uh, is, uh, has a state stamp, um, we'll use this, uh, that file for this demonstration. The BACnet manager presents each present value for each object, and clicking on the plus button will show the associated properties to that present value object, including a color-coded data type, which has a scrollover tooltip. In this case, a red point is a character string, a yellow point is an enumerated value, and so on. You can highlight the present value objects, then drag and drop them into the staging map. Now, if you need to bring in some associated properties other than present value, you need to open up the present value object, highlight those properties, and then drag and drop those in as well. Now, once in the staging map, you'll be able to see if the object is read-only, if it's read and write, and have access to the tagging feature on that object. Now, uh, uh, you click on the tagging icon, and this opens up the tag editor. Uh, first, you'll see uh, if, if the device is a TCS product, uh, such as the Ubiquistat, uh, Ubiqu uh, Ubiquity has automatically added tags such as the disk tags, equipment reference tags, units, data type, and so on. Uh, any of the tags that you would need to make this a usable point on Ubiquity. And then you'll also notice that the BACnet manager uses both haystack tags, which are noted by the HS preference uh, preface, and TCS custom tags, which are noted by the TCS preface. Now to add a tag, click uh, the add tag button and begin typing. Now in this case we'll add a monitoring tag so we type in monitor and as you type the list uh, of available tags starts to narrow down the search and a library of tags will also be provided as a reference. Now you'll, you'll see that we can add a monitor or program tag to make this object available for display on the monitoring page which also trends the data to the Ubiquity database or to be written uh, to use uh, on the programming page. And of course you can add both tags if you want to both monitor and program that point. Uh, this can also include tags to assign the object to groups within that page uh, and positions within that group to show, as we showed previously, on the monitoring and programming pages. So for example, this A cool set point object, which has the BACnet object ID of analog value 53, is by default assigned to be programmed. Then it's assigned to be the, in the first programming group and position 7 within that group. So in this case, I'm going to rename this as Occupied Cool Set Point as I'm not going to use the B, C, and D set point objects. And then I change the position in the group to position number 1. Now once all the tags are complete, just save the tag editor for this object. And converting these objects to points uh, that can be used in Ubiquity is as easy as simply highlighting, then dragging and dropping them into the active map. Now, once they're in the active map, you can see uh, each of these points by opening the device on the navigation tree. Uh, you can go uh, then to scroll down to the object we renamed uh, Occupied Cool Set Point and click on it uh, so you can read the value, check the most recent status, or access the tags. And you can also use the search function at the top of the navigation tree to navigate to other points. And breadcrumb navigation is also provided uh, at the top of the screen so you can easily navigate to previous sections. So at, when I go back to the US 4010, for example, then the programming tab, you'll see how the occupied cool set point is now in the number one position of the first group of programming points. Uh, when a TCS Ubiquistat is added to a network, uh, like the US 4050 model we have here, uh, we have an auto-detect feature. So the uh, QD3040 Edge device auto-detects the device and pushes the discovery automatically to the BACnet manager. Uh, the BACnet manager then automatically, based on the device model number, in this case the 40, US 4050, will automatically map objects to the staging and also the active map along with associated tags. 
And those tags then create default monitoring and programming and trending uh, pages for the device. So a user with read write access can use the device immediately. And then as an admin, you can change those pages as needed by adding or deleting tags. So that's how I use this to set up the 4010. After it was auto detected and all those tags came in, I set up the defaults and I, I, I set up the group names uh, I wanted to use in the device uh, tagging interface. So you can see how I set up uh, temperatures in the monitoring group in the first position, active set points in the second position, and so on. And again, that's used uh, using the tagging for the device itself, the US4010 device. And then I went to the points and used the tag editor to, editor to delete any points that didn't want to appear on the monitoring or programming pages, and I just by removing those tags. And then finally, for the points that actually wanted to appear on the monitoring programming screens, I updated those tags. And as you can see, uh, how for the active cooling set point, I assigned the uh, monitoring tag, then assigned this point to be in uh, on the second monitoring group, in this case, active set points in the first position. So now in our next release of the BACnet Manager, we'll uh, also be applying more genius of simple philosophy to the BACnet Manager, including the ability to use templates. So from a library, you'll be able to select and apply a mapping file to uh, a controller where all the tags, monitoring, and programming pages are preset and making this a simple, uh, quick, uh, single step process. So this concludes our overview uh, of our current release of the BACnet Manager. Additional videos will be coming out and they'll focus on specifics of discovery, mapping and tagging, as well as a video on scheduling of BACnet schedule objects. So thank you for watching and please contact TCS if you have any questions.